This book, The Seventh Sense, Power, Fortune, and Survival in the Age of Networks, is all about that process. It's about this birth of connectivity and connections. Now, if you'll take your hand out, and I want you to turn to page two. We're going to fly through just a handful of the quotes. What you have for a number of pages are quotes and excerpts, and I put a box around the most important, and I put bold around a bunch of important, but here we start at the top. Why is this book worth our time? Number one, because we are in the midst of a true, genuine, abiding change. The seventh sense is what we need to develop to understand and function in this new world. He says that the seventh sense basically is a way to see and function in and take advantage of and not be defeated by the connectivity around us. Number two, this new world is all about connections and connectivity. And we are at only the beginning stages. And some of us may have no chance of even or ever understanding this world. Number three, because there are times when we need to take a great big step back and tackle the genuinely big picture issues, this book helps us do that. All right, quote number one. 300 years ago, the Enlightenment and the Scientific Revolution began their pounding work on the foundations of an ancient order. Like twin hammers, these forces demolished most of what once seemed permanent. Kings, alchemists, popes, feudal lords, they were all undone. Today a fresh hammer is cracking our world. The demands of constant, instant connection are tearing at old power arrangements. The formation of networks of all kinds for trade and biology and finance and warfare and any of a thousand varied needs is producing new and still dimly understood sources of power. They are eroding the roots of an older order, even as a new one is beginning to appear. Um, he has this little practical observation. Nobody anymore ever goes home and quits work. Used to, you turned your computer off in the old days. In the old days, you put things away on your desk. And you went home, and you changed into comfortable clothing, and you enjoyed the evening. Now my iPad is perpetually open. I've answered email at 2 in the morning. I never am off work, and neither are you. Turn to page five lessons and takeaways. Number one, connectivity connections, these are the power sources of today and tomorrow. Number five, in the midst of connectivity connections, we are in great need of a return, this is something he says, and I'm really a fan of this, of the liberal arts to inform the new technology masters and users who will shape our future. We need humane citizens. And so chapter 11, citizens, in which the seventh series sense rescues us from an unexpected danger. Four different CEOs said this is the book to read this summer. This little book synopsis guy will add his voice. This is the book to read this summer. Hope you found this useful. Thank you very much.